Hey guys, welcome back. Introduction, blah, blah, blah. So it is currently three o'clock on Saturday afternoon. In about two hours, or less than two hours, I need to be out the door to pick up Charmaine um, to go to dinner with Jing and Aaron because it is about to be Jing's birthday. Um, this video goes up tomorrow morning and this is absolutely the latest I've ever left filming a video, but an introduction had to be filmed, so here we are. Um, last weekend, uh, Charmaine and I went over to Aaron's house because Aaron had some plant chores that she needed done that couldn't be done by one person and, or had to be plant people to do it. So before we got there, Aaron dropped by Home Depot to grab some soil and amendments and things. I asked her to check if there were any of the Costa Raven ZZs because they've been popping up at the big box stores and luckily for me there was one left so she picked this one up for me. I don't know why I've been kind of obsessed with ZZs lately. I do have a regular green one um, which is like I just completely neglect it but my mom has been growing her ZZ just absolutely insanely beautifully. It's so big, it's inspired me to get my own. Um, so yeah, I wanna, I wanna pot this one up today while I chat through some questions which Charmaine put up in a question box on her Instagram before we filmed, um, just to see if there's anything people wanted us to talk about, but we didn't actually get to answering those questions that day. So I thought I'd grab a couple of those questions that I think I can speak to. I'm gonna repot the ZZ, and then we're gonna go back into the past to Aaron's house where we did a bunch of plant chores, and then I'll meet you back here at the end. So for this ZZ, I had a, I really wanted to do a glass vessel with black leca at the bottom, but I have neither of those things. I was also trying to decide if I should do a white pot for contrast, but then I saw this pot on my shelf and I was kind of feeling this combo. Thought that'd be kind of cute, so, so I think we're gonna try that. Also, this ZZ, just show you, it has a lot of mineral deposits on the leaves, so I think I'm gonna get it out of soil first and then give it a good wash. All right. <coughs> I wonder how many separate plants are in here. Oh geez, oh geez. Oh, I just broke a baby stalk. Come on, come on. Oof. Okay. Soil all over the floor, that's fine. Roots look nice. But I don't think I want any of this. Do I? Nah, I don't know if I want to keep any of this. It looks okay. Maybe I'll put it in my outdoor soil. But I wanna get as much soil off it as possible because I'm gonna wash this plant over my sink and I don't want soil all down my sink. So um, while I'm doing this, the question we get a lot, and it came up um, this time around too, was um, how did you guys meet? Actually, it's really sweet. Like a lot of people, um, ask like how do i how do i find plant friends how do i find my own jing how cute are these tubers by the way oh my goodness okay so if it's just to answer the question of like how to make plant friends like because i i also see a lot of comments like people are saying like none of my friends are into plants so they like to watch our videos because it's nice to see friends who are both into plants um, and honestly like we weren't friends before it was because of plants that we became friends so my I mean the, the way that we all met each other was through Facebook um, specifically Facebook plant groups and like if your city doesn't have a local plant community or if the local plant groups are kind of like 
crappy or toxic, I highly suggest making your own. I mean, it is a lot of work to moderate, but you know, if you are passionate about it, if you're you're into like fostering community and you know, you have some spare time and a good support network of people who can help you moderate, I think that would be a great idea. Like just knowing how many people have met each other through the plant group and like become real life friends. It's just just really nice to see. So that that is essentially how all four of us met. So as I mentioned before, Jing is the admin of the plant group. She created she created this plant group because I think like there was one one plant group at the time when she made it and like it was a little bit like gatekeepy. I don't know which group this is that she's talking about, but they wouldn't let her in or something like that. So she's like, F you guys, I'm making my own group. So yeah, that's what happened. Before I continue with my story, I'm just gonna quickly rinse this off. Okay, I'm back. I don't think that that got, oh shoot. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't think that got off the mineral deposit, so what I'll probably do is go in with um, pink solution and just wipe down the leaves that have the hard water stains. Okay, so where was I with this story? We met through the plant group that Jean created. Yes, that's right. So um, I think when I joined the group, I think Erin was the first one of, out of us to join that group. And that was... Um, early 2020 and then Charmaine joined like late spring maybe April May-ish and then I joined a few weeks later we didn't know each other at all and then Charmaine kind of goes into like a story time about how she came to talk to Jing um I'm using my regular aeroid mix which is very perlite heavy so anyways so now we're in like May 2020 and we're all in the group at this point. We didn't really, I didn't have any friends in the group. Um, there were people that I guess I was friendly with. At the time the group was maybe around like 900 people around a, or maybe like just hitting a thousand. What brought us together? Okay, so first person that I was friends with in out of these three ladies was Charmaine and how I actually met Charmaine was not like a group um, interaction it was actually she was selling um, Mikan's propagations on marketplace this is I put the soil layer too big at the bottom one second all right so yeah um, Charmaine was selling a bunch of Mikan's propagations Bear in mind, this is at the very beginning of the pandemic, and there just wasn't any plants around, and I didn't have Mikans at the time, so um, I bought a couple of tiny pots from her off Marketplace, <clears throat> and then I don't know how this happened, but we just started talking. Okay, this this is coming off. I don't know. It just it just kind of broke. Not gonna lie, this pot is kind of small, but we're gonna make it work. Okay, I keep getting distracted from my story. Sorry. Um, so, I bought, it was like, she put up a bunch of like tiny little stem propagations that had started sprouting new leaves out on Marketplace. And I bought, I think like two of them or something. Um, like I, I will say like my first impression of Charmaine, um, like online was not at all what she ended up being. <laughs> I don't know why I thought she was like this total like hipster, like kind of barista type personality. <laughs> Do you know what I'm talking about? Like, like wearing vans and like, well, she does have tattoos, but um, I thought she was that kind of girl, really grungy. Uh, she is not grungy, spoiler. Um, yeah, so I don't know how we got talking, but essentially we knew each other. I, we knew that we were both in the YBR group, but we didn't really interact that much in the group. 
but I think I, as I was messaging her to pick up the plant and then like saying that I picked up the plant, I think I already knew um, her account on Instagram. So I was like telling her that I liked her account and stuff, that it was really informative. And then she found me on Instagram, I think. Um, and at that point, there was like a couple months where we, we weren't like friends or anything and we weren't even really chatting. But then, I don't know what, I think maybe like I, I, I like, responded we replied to one of her dms and the com like you know how you just like some people are just really easy to talk to and the conversation just goes so she's just like here's my number text me instead so we just pretty much talked every single day since then um yeah so that's essentially how we became pals Okay, that's kind of a boring story, but it's, the gist of it is I met Charmaine through buying Mikeins from her off Marketplace. I actually don't know why she didn't sell them in the group. And then, speaking on behalf of Charmaine and Erin, um, it was also plant purchase related. So Erin had a really pretty um, Meg Verde. I think she wanted to rehome it because she couldn't give it the humidity it needed. Um, it was starting to decline when she brought it home and it wasn't in a greenhouse or anything. So she sold that to Charmaine. I think like um, some like someone introduced Aaron to Charmaine because Aaron uh, because Charmaine was looking for a, a Meg Verde or a Magnificum of some kind. So that's kind of how they met. We were friendly. We were all friendly on Instagram and in the group, but we weren't like, I wouldn't say we were like close friends. So what actually brought us really close together as a, like as a unit is Aaron actually organized this little group chat to buy predatory mites. I don't know why she chose us specifically, but she just chose a bunch of people that she had like bought plants from or were friendly with and put this put us all in one group for a mites order. And like, yeah, it just became like, we weren't just talking about plants anymore. We were just talking about like life stuff in general. It was just the, the daily group chat. Like whenever anything happened, we would just go to the group and, and um, talk about it. So, oh, this little baby. I'm gonna propagate you. Yeah, so that happened and then um, it just became like real friends. Um, we would hang out for each other's birthdays and then for Christmas we did like gift exchange. It was very wholesome. Um, so yeah, like that's essentially how we became like from plant friends to real friends, except like obviously our friendship is still like very deeply rooted in plants because that's all our like main hobbies are. It's really hard to meet real friends as an adult outside of work and I kind of like make it a, a point not to be friends with people I work with like real friends um, I don't I used to um, hang out with coworkers and stuff but like that's not something that I do anymore and it's not something I'm interested in doing but so it's like, it's really hard to find people that you have things in common with as an adult. Um, and obviously COVID and everything, like you're not really going out and like not, none of us are like overly social people. We're kind of homebodies. So it just kind of like happened very organically and like I'm really thankful that it did happen. But in terms of like how, how you find plant friends slash real friends who like plants, um, I would really highly suggest Facebook plant groups um, and Instagram, I think is a good place too. I've met like good friends on Instagram, but then honestly, like the ones that turned out to be real friends were also in the Facebook group as well. So it, like the, the Facebook group is really like the, the common denominator here. So yeah, um, that's how we met. And then the, uh, the second question I thought I would tackle because Charmaine does not want to be present when this question gets answered I'm just gonna be wiping the leaves off as I answer this question so one question that came in was um, 
what's Charmaine really like? <laughs> and I'll be honest, how I know Charmaine and like the majority of our interactions are online, like in chat, it's not in person. And obviously we hang out, but I would say like more than 90% of our interactions are over text. Um, Charmaine is like, Charmaine, she's a fiery little lady. Like I would say, and this, this also came up and maybe we'll talk about it if we, um, film a quick Q and A together. But the question was who's more protective or like who's, who's the most, who's the most protective I think it was. And definitely Charmaine. She is, um, she is a very feisty, feisty little lady. Um, if anyone <laughs> were to come for one of us, Charmaine's the first one to jump in to someone's defense. Um, Charmaine is really brave in that way. <laughs> and I'm not brave in that way. Like I, I would defend my friends, but not, not as, you know, epically as she would. <clears throat> so she's like that. Maybe that's something that you guys don't know about her. Um, she is honestly, you, everyone knows that she's, she deals with anxiety and depression and she has days when, you know, she just can't do anything. She, she has days when she can't get out of bed, but if one of her friends needed something, she's always present for them. Um, maybe that, that's also maybe something that doesn't surprise anyone, but you know, um, obviously she wouldn't say that about herself. Like if, if she was in a depressive episode, but one of us was having a hard day or needed advice, like she's there to listen and give advice. Um, and I would say the same of uh, all three of those ladies, especially Jing, like she's always throwing crazy wisdoms on us that I'm like, she's only a year older than me, but I honestly feel like she has the wisdom of like someone who's lived decades longer. But this is not about Jing. The question was about Charmaine. What is Charmaine really like? Yeah, she's she's feisty. She's really caring. She's a really good friend. Um, honestly, like all three of them are just amazing friends. <clears throat> um, Charmaine, what else can I say about her? Um, Okay, so my camera cut out because it overheated. So I went and made myself some coffee. I forget where I left off. I was still roasting Charmaine. I'm trying to think of things that you wouldn't know about her from her videos. But I honestly, I feel like she's really open about everything. So there might not be that many things. I will just say that like she's really easy to talk to. Actually, if we're gonna talk about what people are really like, I think one thing that doesn't really come across um, online with Jing is like, she is freaking hilarious. Like she has like the best sense of humor, but I don't think that people get to see that side of her a lot. So I know, I know this is not about Charmaine, but I think people need to know how funny Jing is. Like she has me laughing out loud all the time. We all know that Charmaine is funny, but um, I don't think people know that about Jing, what else? Um, uh, one last thing I'll say about Charmaine is that like, she is super supportive of her friends. I think this is something that like is worth mentioning as like a group of ladies who are friends, but also on social media and YouTube and stuff like that. Like, is there any sense of competition? And I feel like not, I'm not sure if this needs to be said, but it really isn't that way. And I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that we're all in our thirties and we're just not like competing with each other. Um, we're just here to support each other. And if someone does well in something like, like if sure, like, let's say like, Jing, for example, is her Instagram right now is just on fire. 
So here's the thing, like Instagram algorithm, it's all about consistency and posting every day. And if you don't post every day, like the algorithm hates you. But for some reason, Jing posts like whenever she wants, like every other Thursday, and then every post that she's been putting up just blows up. And like, I feel like Jing is like, like awkward about it, like almost to the point of being apologetic, but I, I'm just like so happy for her, but I also don't understand how how she's doing it because like how is she making the algorithm work for her so well? Because, you know, there's so many accounts that post gorgeous photos, but since they're not, um, they're not consistent enough and they're not playing the algorithm, they're not posting reels, then their reach isn't there. But for some reason, Instagram loves Jing and like she doesn't need to post reels, she doesn't need to post consistently and all her posts are blowing up and like we were really happy for her. Um, another thing is like, like, I don't know, like Charmaine gets like some sponsorship deal like um, and then we help her, you know, navigate that. So I really feel like some of that comes with age um, but also comes with just finding the right people that are like, you know, friends with you for the right reasons. And that's because that they genuinely like you as a person and they're not, um, I don't know, you're not benefiting them in some way. I don't know. I don't know if that's relevant at all, <clears throat> but yeah, there's like between, between us, like I think, um, in terms of like competition, it's, it's really just like, you know, we, we learn from each other, we can motivate each other, but we don't begrudge each other for success. And I, I'm, I'm really thankful for that too. Um, and yeah, was there anything else? I think that's it. Yeah. So anyways, this is the ZZ. I think I got most of the mineral deposit off. So it's looking pretty glossy now. So I will get it a little bit of water and then yeah that's about it yeah so um on to the main part of the video we're gonna go to aaron's house back in the past and then i'll see you back here at the end
right next chore is to repot this elbow. This is, if you follow Aaron, this one is Flops, named after this floppy leaf, but look how amazing it's grown. It's starting to get smaller, so we need to pull this guy. I think the roots don't look too bad, but we're gonna up pot it to this size. And then Charmaine's just made this really cool moss pole. Um, so we're gonna do a lazy pull. This is what's going into the soil and that's zip tied. And then we've kind of used what we had, another bamboo stake. And we've connected two pieces of the, the clear plastic and it's gonna come up to probably like about here. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do next. I forgot to mention, we're also gonna make this self-watering. So this is where the rope is gonna come out. We're using the same clear rope that I used in my moss pole video. And yeah, Erin is a busy lady and she does not have time to be wetting her moss poles all day long. Oh, oh it's fat ketchup. Ooh, what? what is that? Look how big the ketchup is. Ooh, it's a big box of rats. I've never seen this square packet before. There's so many boxes. Oh, it's oh, a burger and a fry. Okay. So look at that. Yeah. Shoot the camera. Here, you just got Nice. Nice, nice. I realized. I realized in our McDonald's that I'm a really ugly eater. <laughs> we cannot leave Metro Town without finding or something. Yes. It's now or never. Yeah. Mmm. 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 So good. Mm -hmm. My favorite was when I was the bar manager, so I could pick my own shifts, but I still could do bartending shifts. And at that Earl's in North Van, the bar is huge. Mm -hmm. so you'd have so many, it would always be regular, it would always tip well. Mm -hmm. And then you put whoever's like new and rookie, like working the well to like put the drinks up for the servers. And yeah. so you're just basically being a server of the bar. Yeah. I love that because you didn't have to walk very far and nobody bothered you. You don't have to like run food for other people because you're mm. just in your little domain. Yeah. You can just totally just chat with people and it was really good money. Yeah. I think that's why like a lot of bartenders don't stop bartending. Yeah. It's totally. So it's tough to be. It's such a good yeah, income. Yeah. If it doesn't stress you out. Yeah. Then mm. Yeah. You're that kind of person. But why not? Northbound? Oh my god. Is it on Lonsdale? Or where is it? It's Lonsdale, yeah. Like Lower, Lower Lonsdale? Lonsdale? Yeah. Mm. Right in the shipyards. Oh, that'll be great. Yeah. There's Great area. People drive like so insane there. Oh yeah? With terrible driving? Like fast like driving or they just don't know what they're doing? Just, they don't give a f They're just like, <laughs> not going here. Mm -hmm. Like, I, we're all in the same traffic, dude. <laughs> I think I can never drive anywhere near there. I would literally mm. just be screaming and hollering. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> rat. <laughs> like you yeah. knew exactly where you needed to be. Why did you have, feel like you should be cutting to the front? She was only eating the five. There was no other thinking around. Mm. Wow. If we're eating McDonald's and I offer her a fry, she'd be like, no. I'm gonna see if she'll take the fry. Take the fry? No. She's like, no, but it's no, it's garbage, right? She's like, my mom literally <laughs> just chicken. Does she even like cheese? Yeah, she loves cheese. Oh, okay. Okay. And that's a normal thing. Yeah. Okay, gentle. Good girl. She came in with such a speed. <laughs> and then didn't. <laughs> I was like, oh. She definitely knows gentle. If I remember to say it, she's yeah. not like snap she's down. Like, oh, right, gentle. If I don't, I'm just like, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Does anyone want any yam fries? I am so full. I'm I will so projectile full. vomit everywhere. All right. All right. Ooh. Here we go. So, first thing, maybe switch the. Or up. maybe if we can get this into a bowl. Sure. Yeah. Or just I take it out in here. Oh like over top yeah, of here. yeah, that works yeah. too. That's easy. Just... <laughs> <laughs> <Like that. laughs> Anaconda squeeze. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's really in there. Yeah. Oh, he loves it. 
attached to the Is it what's happening at the bottom? Is it coming out the bottom or no? Mm, yeah. A little bit, but the holes are quite big, so I think it'll just yeah, no, like, it's just slide this right one out. that went down like into the in. pot. There's oh. one that's gonna have to break. Do you want to just snip it? Sure. But I don't think that's what's holding it in though. No. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Here it feel the feel the, cra feel the cracking yep. wiggles. Oh. Oh, oh shoot. Okay. Maybe just the top layer. I feel like the bottom will figure itself out. The roots look really good though. Oh, it's really dense at the top. Yeah, this is it's all like, root here. Yeah. Yeah. This one hasn't been in there very long. <laughs> it's <laughs> no, rooted it hasn't. really happily. I know. Wow. I, I repotted it like right when I moved. I feel so like it would so be okay. okay. I feel like it would be yeah, okay if we just plop it in. Well, like, just maybe just like arrange the aerial roots how you want it, like the ones that are above the substrate. Oh yeah. Well, this one can probably Wait, this go one? back into. Wait, this one curled over around here. Yeah, they're all going, like just wrapped it's, in. It's in the center it's super, of this. Okay. Yeah, it goes inside that one. Yeah, it'd be nice if we could move <laughs> this, but I don't think it's gonna be possible. It's no. really bad in there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it's fine. We'll just go like that. Okay, so, so let's get a bit of more soil in here. <laughs> What's the cover pot you're using on this one? It's just a white, a big white one. Oh, nice. The clean big yellow. Just oh, oh, shoe. Ew. I think that's good. Should I sprinkle? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We need enough space for that. It's got to be that like right here. Yeah. If that's mm -hmm. right at the back, I'll push it into it. So we need to tie it to the plant first. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay, and then I'll should I it. fill? Yeah, I'll hold it there. Okay. Oh, flops. So scary. I know. So flops is like outshining Ellie you now. Seriously. If you told me this was Albi, I would, I would have believed you. Well, yeah. I'll show you Albi later before you go. <laughs> this is a little leaf. I was like, okay, he's going to be variegated. And then this one, get out of here. It's so good. So good. The soil feels nice. I know. It's so, like, <laughs> so Soft, healthy. Looking. Yeah, and rich. Ew. Uh, it's all under my nails. I know, me too. We're, we're real gardeners. Look at this end. Goes here. Yeah. And you have to go through here. So I'm gonna snake this up like this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Smart. 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 I don't want to break this aerial root. Yeah, I think, I think that's good, right? Yeah. yeah. Alright, <clears throat> so now we just have to fill with the true magic. Yeah. The so, To be fair, it actually took quite a bit of effort from you. So Yeah, that's that such a big plant. Erin, <laughs> right. what's on your wish list? I don't even know. Yeah, like plants? On your wish yeah. List. Um I feel like you haven't sent us anything lately where you're like, mm, I, I need like this. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. I wonder what I... When you see something, you like you buy it, but then what's like something you don't see but still want? I know there are some things that I was like, that I gave up the hunt for, but what was that more recently? I was like, eh. Osmini. Yeah, so all was that. Yeah, I feel like that was the last one that you were like, mm, Yeah, really and then I was like, oh well, someday. Someday one will yes. come around. Yeah, I don't know. I saw a picture to get of one? something recently. Or is it that like silvery one? Oh, maybe oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. the one that Jing. The yeah, yeah, yeah. Something hard. Something silver angel. Oh yeah, angel. Oh, yeah. Nice. But yeah, I don't know. Oh, I've, I've not like actively yeah. like searched for plants in a while. Mm -hmm. Imports, Imports coming. coming. Yeah. What did you order again? You ordered like the most types, didn't you? Did I? I don't know. I definitely ordered like I think Gloriosum, another Bessie. Yeah. Did you get um, another Columbia. crystal black? 
Yeah, maybe I did. Cause I really like those. Yeah. Yeah. Good call. I might have been those four things, but I know I was like going back and forth about things that I'm like, no, I don't need that. Like forget eye dark and stuff. Or I was like, yeah. I don't want this. <laughs> tempting. Yeah. Always tempting. Yeah. Let me look at it from the front. It's looking good. Yeah. Because the plant's kind of like embedded in it. It's different than trying oh, to force yeah, yeah. it onto a pole. Yeah. I should probably try to make one of these now that I've watched you do it. Um, Here's the final product. I don't know if you could see it in the video, but we have a rope coming all the way up to the top and then all the way back down to the bottom. So there's two pieces hanging out the side. So we have both sides of the pole being um, wicked with water. And then since the bamboo stake goes up to about here and it's really ugly, we just put more moss and then put another piece of plastic over top to hold it in place. But once Al, not Albie, Flops. Flops. <laughs> once Flops gets taller, then she can just like pull that, this piece out. I'll be able to pull this out like incrementally. Oh, like, yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, we were just saying how this pole, this style of pole is so handy to make because you can just like pot the plant and construct the pole around it. Basically, you're embedding the stem right into the, to the moss. So it's going to activate those roots right away. Oh, flaps is so nice. Okay, on to the next one. Next up is this Dean McDowell. He's on his side. We've just gotten him out of soil and we're doing a little bit of cleanup. And then it's gonna go in this long, is this Luchuza? I don't Aaron? know, looks like it. Yeah, it's a Luchuza pond. Luchuza pond, Luchuza <laughs> pot. <laughs> and we're gonna get him in Luchuza pond, pure pond. Nice. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so good. It's releasing so much aroma. I know, it smells so good. Ooh, there's more down here. That was yummy.
All right, guys, that is it for today's video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you enjoy longer videos or shorter videos or like what is your ideal video length time. I think for me as a viewer of YouTube, I I think my perfect video length is like 45 minutes. So that's about uh, how long it takes me to get ready in the morning. I really do have to get ready for dinner now. So I will leave you here. I hope you have an awesome rest of your weekend and I will see you in the next one. Bye.